live or die. The choice is yours. Saw X or Saw 10 is a 2023 horror mystery thriller directed by Kevin Gruder and written by Josh Stolberg and Pete Goldfinger. It stars Tobin Bell, Shawnee Smith, and Sanov Melody Lund. The story is about a sick and desperate John Kramer who travels to Mexico for a risky experimental medical procedure in hopes of a miracle cure for his cancer, only to discover the entire operation is a scam to defraud the most vulnerable. How much time do I have? Months at best. I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. Wow, just wow. This is the Saw movie that I have always been hoping for. Because even going back to the original, I love the original Saw, like don't get me wrong, but there is no John Kramer really in it. He's in it very little, or at least not in the way you want him to be. But not only is he really present in this movie, I mean, he's really in this movie, just the performance he gives, and the fact that they kind of turn him into a hero, which is very strange and on paper doesn't sound like that would really work. But I'm telling you, you find yourself absolutely rooting for John Kramer in this film. And Shawnee Smith also does a great job reprising her role, which is one thing I gotta mention. It's the only thing that could take you a little bit out of it is these are supposed to be characters playing roles from 10, 15 years ago. And it's very obvious in both cases that these are much older actors than they were when they were playing these roles earlier. So if you're a pretty big fan of the Saw films and I've seen them all, then it's, you know, especially when you see Shawnee Smith, you're like, you know, with Tobin Bell, you know he's supposed to be sick. And so it's like, you kind of buy into that some, but when you see Shawnee Smith, you're like, you know, this is a woman who's, you know, 15 years older. She still looks great, but she's definitely older. So, you know, you kind of have to suspend disbelief just a little bit and buy into that premise. But it only took me a few seconds to just shrug that off and move forward because the story, the stakes, the character development, everything about this is what I've always wanted from a Saw movie. And if you want to talk about gore and savagery, holy shit. I mean, I'm not going to go quite as far as I've seen some people say that this is more gruesome than Terrifier 2, but it's up there. There are some scenes in this that made me cringe and I do nothing but watch horror movies and see tons and tons of gore. But there's a few scenes that I don't want to give away and you definitely haven't seen them in any of the promos that are gonna really catch you off guard and make you squirm in your seat. I also wanna mention that I thought the trailer did a really good job this time of showing you the story, giving you an idea of what this movie's about, but without really spoiling anything. Because yes, you do know the basic premise of the story, like I explained a few minutes ago what's going on, but just the way it all plays out and just watching John Kramer in general create these traps and do all this stuff it's just so much fun because I really enjoyed how they show the kind of behind the scenes, like, you know, how the sausage is made in it, which they've done in other films, but in more of like a flashback situation. Whereas this is just following John as he sets up traps and as he finds ways to find out things like be a detective. There's a lot of fun detective type of stuff that goes into this as well. But I just thought Tobin Bell was just incredible in this. His acting, just seeing him again as John Kramer and really embodying that character even more and becoming this sympathetic figure in a lot of ways, even more than we've seen him before, I was just all in. You know, at first you're kind of like, really, am I gonna root for this guy? But you find yourself all in, especially if you're a fan of the Saw movies and you don't condone the, you know, you're not condoning what this guy is or does or whatever, but at least in this situation, you find yourself really wanting to see the most gruesome, brutal, bloody, horrific things happen to different individuals. And trust me when I say blood is spilled. Also, I love how this movie ended and I'm probably shouting through this whole review, but I am just so pumped right now, so excited and honestly looking forward to seeing this again. I plan on going and watching it again tonight at the drive-ins. It's just that special of a movie. And I'm not gonna say it's perfect. There's definitely some, some decisions and some things that happened in this that I was not quite a huge fan of, which I'm not gonna say because it is a spoiler. I'm trying to keep this spoiler free, but there were a few things that I wasn't the biggest fan about but I thought they did an extremely good job of making a Saw movie and giving you what you want as a fan of the Saw films. So later in the week, I'm gonna do a ranking and rank all the Saw movies. 
and I'm not sure exactly how high this one's gonna be on the list, but I'm telling you, it's really, really up there for me. It might be my favorite. I gotta kinda rewatch things and sit down and, and really go over them in my head to decide, but that's how much I love this movie. Because compared to the last few, this one really feels like it's it's written, there's a story, there's dialogue, there's good performances. Like I've been rewatching some of the Saw movies and God, the acting is so atrocious in a lot of these films, but not in this. I mean, this is really a really well-made, polished, well-put-together Saw movie. It has all the things I really love in a Saw movie, without a lot of the stupid stuff and the, the lousy, cheesy performances, especially the, the way some people react to pain. Like these people, you buy it, you feel the pain they're in when things are happening. And the traps are very creative in this. None of them feel like anything we've seen before. And that's exciting and that's fun. It's great to see these traps with this creativity again. And on top of that, traps that people have a chance of escaping from. I'm not gonna give away if anybody does or whatever, but there's at least a potential in these. It's not the way the franchise had gotten where you knew they weren't gonna escape. Like it was just a matter of watching how gruesomely someone was gonna die in this trap. There was no way anybody was gonna survive these things. They were raged from the jump. But because this is John Kramer creating these again, there is actual potential to survive. Yes, they're brutal. Yes, there's a small chance. It's, it's not like you have a good chance of surviving, but there is still a chance. And I enjoy that they brought that back into the franchise. I think that's an important thing at least for me as a fan and as someone watching these movies. But I mentioned a second ago the end and I didn't follow through because I'm just kind of scatterbrained all over the place on this movie. I don't take notes. I just, you know, I'm in a theater. I just enjoy the movie, watch it, and then tell you guys my feelings. And so I am really excited about it. So I am a little all over the place, but the ending of this, I thought was great. It really harkens back to the first, probably two or three Saw movies with the way the whole thing plays out. And it shows you all the, all the making of the sausage and how this whole scheme was planned and who did what. And it's just really well executed and just so badass. I was cheering, it sucked because I was in a theater with not that many other people and nobody was cheering with me, but I couldn't help it. Like when this movie opened and you see the barbed wire logos and the music at times, like there's these all these little callbacks. And as a fan of Saw, I was just up out of my seat, excited, just enjoyed the hell out of this film. So if you're a fan of the Saw movies, I think you're gonna absolutely love it. But even if you're not necessarily, but you are a fan of horror, I still think you should give it a shot too. It does a good job of kind of setting things up. So even if you haven't seen all the Saw movies, it doesn't matter. You can still easily follow this. And it doesn't really feel as gore porny as a lot of the Saw movies have. This feels, like I said, much more closer to the first couple where the traps are important, the gore is important, but there's a good story there and like a mystery and, and a lot of things to kind of see play out that really add and make it a really good movie. So I think you should get out to a theater near you this weekend and check it out. This is a film that I highly, highly, highly recommend. This is not retribution, it's a reawakening. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and ding that little bell because that is the best way to keep track of this channel and when I post videos like this, and I post videos like this every single week. I also want to give a massive, enormous, huge thank you to the Ghost Pirate crew, to you guys over on Patreon, and to the channel members over here. You guys absolutely mean the world to me and really keep the lights on around here and keep this channel rolling along. But if you would like to find out how to help support this channel, there's a link down in the description for Patreon. Or if you want to become a channel member and get one of the little eye icons, there's a link down in the description that says join. But like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember guys, horror can be fun. If you enjoyed this, click right here to watch my review of Cobweb. And I'll see you guys next time.